Today, I'm gonna give you a tour of the Sun Valley by Candlelight Homes. With over 20 years in the industry as a new home construction expert here in Utah, I have personally guided more than 600 individuals through the home build process. And I'm willing to bet this will be their most popular floor plan. This four bedroom, two story home comes with a master on the main, as well as a study at the entry. At 4,137 square feet, you'll have plenty of room to entertain. With so many beautiful options and features that come standard in this house, you may have just found your dream home. And you won't believe the price. I'll share any remaining details at the end of this video. And you'll find pricing, square footage, and etc. in the description below. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is one of the most popular houses you'll see. The garage has been converted into a sales office, so we're not gonna go look at the garage. This is a two-story home, but you have the master on the main. You can see just a nice little porch here. So you can see me step in the front door here. The nice tall ceilings there. We'll check out in just a second. But you have an office here. The big window looking outside. I'm going to step into this corner back here, give you a different angle. Okay, so you have the master bedroom to the right. We'll check that out first. Right here is just a coat closet. Okay, let's step inside, step in the corner once again to give you a feel for size and how the room is being used. You can see it's a super wide room. See the bathroom over there. I actually want to step in this corner behind this chair so you can see how much space is here. You can see like, we've got wide, probably king size bed there. window here over the tub now remember a lot of the features you see won't be included in the normal house or the house that you purchase every house can be designed a little bit different and right now they are only selling quick move-in homes so you cannot build from scratch at this time but you can see here you got a little your laundry area there in the master and the closet goes around the corner here, so there is plenty of hanging space. That's one of the biggest problems I'm seeing with a lot of builders these days and a lot of homes, is that the master has these tiny closets. And so, you want big closets in these master bedrooms, right? Okay, so now let's go check out the family room. You've got a loft area up there, and the family area here, you can see big sliding glass doors right there behind those chairs. You know, actually circle the family room really quick. It's an awesome fireplace there. Once again, you see lots of big windows. That big door is really nice to have. master bedroom back in the corner over there and we'll step into this corner to give you a feel for how the space is used. This is the dining area over there, and the kitchen, and once again this open space. Over here you have stairs going down to the basement which we'll check out in just a minute and you can see there's actually a dining area right here as well. So. This is done really nicely. They got a massive island here. We'll flip this around really quick and show you. You don't even need a kitchen table with an island like that. I'm guessing that is not a standard island, so be prepared for that if you want to buy or build one of these homes. Back here, you have your mudroom. And then that would be your garage. You have your bathroom right here. So you can see you got double ovens there. And this can probably be converted into just a normal pantry if you would like, but they've done a butler's pantry here. See a gas cooktop here. Dishwasher sink and this nice big window looking out to the yard. That's cool. Big windows here, there are windows everywhere in this house, which is awesome. Okay, so let's go check out the upstairs. And then, at the very end here, we'll check out the basement down there. Okay, so let's look down to below here. 
did you open the fire room from the top? Okay, so here is bedroom number two. The master bedroom is number one. I'm not gonna try to get that back corner over there. It's pretty tight in this section here with all these fun decorations. You can see they've added a nice side window there to bring extra light into the room and decent sized closet back here as well. Bring up the laundry room here. They've added a sink. Kids bath right here. There's a big bedroom here. You can see they put double beds in here, lockers. That's a cool room. You see here, nice big closet. This is a cool room. This is a really big room. So if you have kids sharing, this is great. The next thing about, he tells you to buy houses. Real estate is the most important thing in the world. If you don't own land, you don't own nothing. Okay, you got your furnace in here. Now, let's go check out the basement really quick. Normally, basements don't come finished. You got a bathroom here. And I should point out that it's awesome to have this separation. You saw it upstairs as well. So when someone else is using this area, other people can still get ready. The bathroom, we're gonna show this bedroom right here. So you can see. Basement bedrooms tend to be a lot bigger. And you can see here, it's got an extra deep window well with the steps and it's got the grate over the top to make sure no one falls in. Coming over this direction, this is gonna be a cold storage normally, but you can see they got it used as a storage here, hanging those doors, the utility closet. So then there's your stairs right there. You can see they have got a massive family room here with nice tall ceilings. Once again, you got a nice deep window well there. And step in this corner, you can see this room is Insanely huge. Just be a massive playroom. You got your TV hookups on the wall over there. This door right here is going to be storage underneath the steps. And you can see, it kind of just goes around the corner here. And then straight across, that's where the dining room is upstairs. So you put a nice little like, game table there. A lot of people do something like that. And then you just have this nice big space over here as well. So this basement is massive. Matter of fact, if you finish it yourself, a lot of people might put a couple of bedrooms in this back area here. All right, let's check this out real quick. Cool. So, what did you like about this home? Would you change anything? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to tour this home or if you have any questions. If you'd like to learn more about this community or the builder, watch my video about the Firefly community by Candlelight Homes. Familiarize yourself with Eagle Mountain, watch the full tour of Eagle Mountain City. If you're coming from another state, be sure to check out, watch this before you relocate to Utah. Look for the links to my recommended videos below. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have a friend or a family member looking to buy a home here in Utah, you can easily text this video to them. And please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below and make you feel good.